Hello everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. Now I must admit, it has been a little while since we were here with House Buchanan up in here Scotland in the British Isles in Crusader Kings 3. Um, terribly sorry for the delay and, and the hiatus. Um, you know there is a there is a video going into why um, you know why I, I took my break, and that can be found on my channel. Now I'm going to, it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to back what's happening in the world map and everything. But the thing is this: we are playing as Lucia. Lucia, we are an intricate web weaver, an adulterer, an eager reveler, and we're a pilgrim. And we live in this tiny little bit of Scotland called Buchan. And had we had there not been a great war, a holy war. The Crusades last part, last episode, it would be the end of us um, as we were declared war upon by our liege. Uh, this lady, or potentially the previous, I think her mother, yes, Duchess Reinfeldt, she wasn't all too fond of us because we were an adulterer. So she tried to revoke our lands, but we had just enough money along with these mercenaries here to be able to, to keep our lands, but we are struggling majorly to do anything to get any lands at all or have any claims or anything we are really struggling to get out of here and if we look at the religion map nearly everyone is catholics we there's no um norwegians there's no um sort of norse people that we can attack over here in the uk as or sort of the british isles my apologies as all the norse people that are up here um, and not much at all, but they're up here in um, in this county. There's also um, I iconoclasm, but I'm not entirely sure what that is, but it is an organised Christian faith. But we are Catholic, and we just need to we need to find a way forward because right now we have nothing. I wonder perhaps if we can go to war against this lady here. Our armies are raised. Hang on, let's close our armies. Not we'll close our armies, let's um, disband them. We can always raise them again. We've got um, another 18 months left on these mercenaries before they'll disappear. We won't be able to rehire them due to the due to how expensive they are and how little money we have. We don't really want an independence war, if I'm honest. Uh, we What we really want is a claim. What is our... Um, what's our claim person doing? <laughs> you see how this how long it's been because I'm just calling things claims now. He's going after the Elder of Ross. Is that the best use of our time? Um, yes, because that's the other that's the other vassal within this land. So we're going to be going for the Elder of Ross. But that's going to take another two years to come into effect. So what we're going to do, we're going to get the time ticking along here and see what happens. We'll head back over to, to Realms as opposed to Faith. As I, you know, we, we, we know what Faith is happening all around here, so we don't need to change that whatsoever. In the meantime, with this 188, is there anything we can do? 188 gold, is there anything we can do to earn any more taxes? Because blooming hell, we are really struggling to increase our monthly income. We are increasing our earth. We are constructing earth ramparts, which should give us um, a little bit more holding taxes, but albeit probably not much. Some more levies and some more garrisons. That's definitely useful. Um, is there anything else we can upgrade? We can upgrade. Um, we can upgrade this, but we're already constructing in the barony, um, which is unfortunate. We do have, we do have some knights arriving, which is good. Um, but we, also, we don't hold these other lands. But I wonder if there's anything we can do to increase their taxes, which would then give us more taxes. But here we go. At the age of probably with forty one, that's a fairly old time to be having a child. A child is growing in my womb. My husband, more mayor, Eworth, will, will be proud. I don't know about that because we're an adulterer. So I don't know if that's going to be the case. However, we've become pregnant. And that could that could actually really change how things go. But then again, we've, 
it would matter if we have a more land in our possession, but given we've only got this more maidom of Bukan, you know, there's not a huge amount of splitting to be done upon our death, but um, considerably, fairly, fairly, you know, our, both our sons are mid twenties by this point. Um, our, the holy war for the Sheikdom of Previa is coming along. Um, the Queen of Scotland is significantly beating them, and I presume that will come into our lands. The Sheikdom of Previa is up here. I mean, it's not a huge amount of land, but it will definitely be something for the, for the Queen of Scotland. However, we're much more focused on uh, duties at home. Um, you know, <laughs> problem is, of course, is that we're not going to be able to become... We're not going to be able to get all our lands together. You know, if we do take Ross, we're not going to be able to get all our lands together by the time that Lucia passes away. So soon we're going to start to, start to want to put her onto... Uh, as much health as possible because we really need the health to help us. A fine balance. In the heat of combat, decisiveness is often what separates victory from defeat. When the time comes, I know how I will act. I could stand my ground, I'll give us unyielding defender, which is probably the best one with uh, for any fatal casualties at minus 25%. I think we will do that. Our flexible leader. Um, Gives them gives us an advantage over their defences, but I think just having the best um, casualty rate is probably the best way forward. So we keep on pushing into the fabricate claim on county. But it's going to be quite some time. And of course, more mayor Seamus here is actually a count or he was a city down here in Castile. Um, so you know if we. If we played as him, we could get a tiny bit of land down here. But I really doubt that's that's worth the trouble. If he becomes more powerful later down the line, perhaps we'll reconsider it. There's somewhere that we could we could go to. Um, but he's severely really injured, one-legged, and has got lover's pox. So I don't know if he's long for this world. Oh, he's died. <laughs> right, <laughs> right as I said it. Okay. Um, well. Oh. God, how can you do this to me, Seamus? If I have sinned, well, I have sinned because I've been an adulterer. Why do you not punish me instead? He was blameless, my perfect son. I've had so much more in store for him. Um, we're going to gain some stress because our, our child has died. We've lost our alliance with this chappy here because reasons. I really hope we have a daughter because if we have a son, when we take Ross, if we get another son... When we take Ross, it means that we will lose it again. But if we get a daughter, it will give us an alliance and would also sort out the succession. Because if we can take Ross and only have one son, that would be very useful. For months, Ketagern, Prince Shaw's suffragan bishop, has been digging up spurious contracts and fabricated histories. Now, Earl Shaw, Des Active reveals all amounts to a legitimate claim on our county. Lies. And more lies. Um, yeah, so we, we, we lost our alliance with Count Otto here. Just because we, unfortunately, you know, Seamus died. So let's see if we can arrange a new marriage. But we don't have anyone. Well, we could bury off our half-sister, Bebin. Is there anyone they can marry? Or at least get betrothed to? Um, they will not accept. No. And I don't think it would give us a... It wouldn't give us a... A, a very good alliance anyway, no. Why did we get a son? Oh dear, more family problems. My relief is great and my joy even greater. I have given birth to a perfect little son. Who will you become, my child? And what should I call you? We'll call you... Um, Highwell, that's a nice name. Although, realistically, I'm kind of hoping you're going to die of illness or something. Maybe we just send um, Radri off to his death, because he lives for a very long time yet. But the main thing we need to do is take on this county of Ross here. Um, he, this, the Countess of Ross is 
allied with Prince Welland of Scotland. However, I don't think that's going to be a major concern. We are going to lose our mercenary contracts, which is a real shame. As most of our land, most of the men there are going to be from, yeah, they're going to be from all that, all our mercenaries, but, you know, they are going to expire. We don't have the money to rehire them. Perhaps we could create another regiment of archers. Although it does, you know, cost a lot in terms of maintenance and it would put us into the negative in terms of money. So I don't think we can do that just yet. You know, monthly maintenance is quite a lot. But we really just need some more land, more than anything else. We're really struggling to make any decent progress at all. It's unbelievable. Um, there also seems to be a couple of frame drops. I'm not entirely sure why that's happening, but my apologies for that. Is there any, I mean, we could go independent, but that really doesn't help us in the grand scheme of things. Does she have... She has a few vassals. Um... Galloway, there's all stuff. I mean, we could go to war against our sisters, but I don't really, really want to do that. But we might have to um, give us the land we need. We can get a new lifestyle perk. We will get, I think, Bellum Euston for the Castle Spell I cost down. And realistically, I want to be able to health because we are really gonna, we're really gonna need our health um, as we, you know, move forward to a, to a better way. Basically, so we can survive longer. Um, and I think, I believe there is one somewhere which gives us that extra health. Um, I don't, is it, presumably it's a learning, yes, there we go. Medicine focus. Um, we can't switch over to learning just yet. We've got to wait till 11.16. So another couple of years and then we'll be ready there. And then what we're going to have to do, we're going to go into Ross. And I guess we'll go into Galloway and Ulster down here. I don't suppose we can go to war against you, can we? It will break our alliance. That's unfortunate. Can we request a claim? Oh, we could. We could just claim it. Um, but she's not going to be all too fond of us. Um, could we break the alliance? What's that going to do to us? Um, we can't. How do we? Oh, we can't. Is there no way to break the alliance? We could disinherit you. Wait, can we disinherit our current child? We might have to do that. My dear Iowerth, I might not have loved you. <laughs> That's an understatement. Yet I feel you're passing more acutely than I have ever thought possible. You were always there, my constant companion. Did I take you for granted? There are so many more things I left unsaid. Uh, we are not going to remarry because we do not want more children. Although that is not that's going to hurt us in terms of our, our council. Maybe we'll get someone who's too old to father a child. Uh, we do not have great people in terms of um, chancellors, but we'll, we'll get Kess in here. Um, oh. Mormay has become the Count of Visu. Where's this? Um, I mean, I'll, I'll accept. Where is... Okay, so down again, down here in Castile. Um, so, actually, if, if we die, we'll get some lands down in Castile, and that might be a better place for us to move forward. Um, but what we're going to do... Uh, we're going to just keep on waiting for this... Fabricate claim on county to be done in. Hit my microphone there. To be done in Ross, and then we're going to be pushing forwards um, to gain some more counties, and we're going to end up disinheriting. We're going to disinherit our secondary son from any lands. Therefore, we can start to make some good progress, hopefully. So I'm afraid that our lovely son here, Harwell, is going to be disinherited. Uh, I believe we can do that. We can disinherit, but we're not going to do that just yet. Um, but we will educate the child. Um, because I think it'll be useful. And we could potentially arrange a marriage. Or, sorry, not a marriage. We could arrange a find, a... find a spouse for them. Basically, do we have anyone who gives us an alliance? 
knows. Nothing really gives us a claim on anything useful. Any useful claims? Let's not do that. Any useful claims? You're Georgian, you're Franconian, you're Gaelic, that might be useful. Out of a Sudraland. Or Swordland. Oh, that could be useful. Yeah, let's get our let's get our son our our very, very young son, admittedly. Uh betrothed to this lady here. As that will give us a potential claim uh, a claim on the county above us, which is currently held by Danelaw, but may not always be held by Danelaw in the future. So we'll do that. They've also become our ward, and we've got a plan up here for Ross. Wonderful. To the benevolent Lucia, I will gladly accept your betrothal proposition. I will graciously take the hand of your son, high well, when the time comes. Well, I think maybe we might need to disinherit him before he becomes, before he's allowed any land. So let's do that now. He's not going to be best pleased, would you admit? We're going to get 72 gold and not going to be too... Oh, we could get a claim on Duchy Murray. That's big. That's a lot of money we do not have. Real question is, Murray, how powerful are they? They are too powerful for us. So let's just take Ross for now. Let's also go speak to the head of Catholicism, Pope Alexander III. Are you willing to give us money just for, you know, reasons? Um, 11.50. Oh, if we wait till the 30th of December, he will give us money. However, he's not all too fond of us. So I think we just need to go here and take over Ross. Surety of supply. Part of commanding my ar an army means making sure my soldiers have plenty of food, drink and camp gear for long campaigns. To this end, I should come up with a plan for ensuring my soldiers always have the supplies they need in the field. Um, we can get well provisioned armies, that gives us a better supply capacity, but we're likely to fail that. Um, I think we'll get our chaps to forage for their own supplies, and that doesn't cost us any gold. My beauty Finbar is... I'm sorry? Since when was Finbar our love? He's 71. I was playing absentmindedly with my hair as he tells me about tax levels. Wow, romantic conversation. You know, romantic conversation in the medieval ages. Though I know little of such things, I find myself mesmerised by his passion for the subject. His beautiful eyes are positively glowing, and the deep insight behind his words is clear, even to a novice like me. I could listen to this forever. Um, let's say we love you, Finbar. Oh, that's awkward. Anyway, <laughs> it's experience for us. Oh, they've got more alliances. No. So go back to the Prince William of Scotland. It's got 643. That's not great. Um, and I think she's also got some other friends, hasn't she? Prince Shaw, 595. Oh no, that's bad timing. It's bad timing. How... What alliances do we have and can they give us any lands whatsoever? Martha gives us, what, 10 men. It's not really worth it. Do we have anyone? <laughs> All our alliances are utterly useless. <laughs> All our alliances are utterly useless. Can we marry someone with an alliance? I want an alliance. Doesn't well, I suppose we are pretty old now. I guess no one wants to have an alliance with us. Oh dear, this is not going well. And we've just lost our mercenaries as well. Is there anything we can do? Anything we can do at all? Can we... We could go into Ulster. And... Can if I... Who's the heir? 
primary air is Necton. Okay. What about Martha? Primary heir would be our other nephew, one of our other nephews. What can we do to make progress here? Can we... Can you improve religious relations with our... With our... With the Pope, because our Pope... Once we get the Pope on side, we can get some money, and that will all just generally be good. 984, that's not going to be enough to win us the, the battle. And most of that comes from our allies' strength, not even our strength. Oh, dearie me. Hmm. That's so unfortunate. I think that's a fairly new reliance as well. Um, what can we do? What can we do to improve our lot here? Seems like Daniel's getting a lot of progress. You've got alliance with quite a few people, but Ulster here does not. Could we... We can remove you from the line of succession. How I want to. That's going to cost us a lot of prestige. But I want to. How do we get rid of this alliance? Can we plot to kill our sister? Let's try that. Let's try kill this lady here. And then we go to Necton, but he wouldn't be a direct ally of ours. Right. We started a murder scheme. Let's go over to Intrigue. And we can invite people at a cost, mind. Bribe of 58. But it'll be worth it. We need, we need them on board. And we'll bribe you for... No, I'm not paying 75 gold. Secrecy is not great. That's not great. <laughs> oh dear. Mm. What can we do? What can we do to gain some lands? We could go against Daniel here, but that's not going to really give help us at all either. We're just completely stuck here. Completely stuck in this uh, in in the Mormaidin with Bukan, and I really don't see what we can do to get out of it. We've got a claim on the Earldom of Ross. Who does it go to next? Kim Malcolm, can we form an alliance with you? You're not give us a claim on the King of Scotland, would you imagine? Um, oh, I don't really want to join you in the Peasant Uprising, I'm perfectly honest. Um, we lose a lot of fame, mind. We lose a lot of fame. Is this like a genuine concern? You know what, we'll accept and not show up. <laughs> I suppose we probably should. Right, raise all armies. Let's go. Let's go help our son down in Castile, as that might be might be where we end up. If if Scotland doesn't really work out, we might end up down in Castile. And that might be that might be where we end up in, in future. <laughs> so let's head all the way down over to Castile. Can take quite some time to get there. We do have 990 troops. Some levies, some bowmen. If uh, if, if Ross could just... Who's... Oh, we don't want to kill... We don't want to kill this lady, because then it goes to Prince Well and then it's beyond our reach, really. 
Can we declare war on you? Oh, that was quick. Okay. Well, let's, let's, let's go home. But this is interesting. Okay. So she's an, a, allied to Prince Shaw. I wonder if we could manage it. 476, 115. And who else? Who else is she married to? Or who else is she allied to? Um, Prince Wallen, because it's 361. I think we can pull it off. We've got a new claimant. Prince Wallan gets a claim on us. Well, that settles my mind. We are going to go to war. And our armies are raised. Once our armies are not raised... Let's get you home. Disband all. And then we're going to war. So we will definitely be going to war. But I think that is something for another day. Thank you so much for watching and expect this again more and more from now on. Take care. Bye bye.